and welcome everybody to Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. No, that's not what we're calling it. It's just Carlin Brothers Box Breakers. Today we're going to be unboxing an entire booster box from the Astral Radiance collection. Yes we are, but the fun part as always is that we open the packs, but you get the packs. Uh, all you have to do to uh, get one of the packs in today's episode is head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and sign up at the box breakers tier. Every pack will earn you, the patrons, points! As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And because it's a game and we like to have fun over here, we have invented a few rules of our own, including the wheel of energy. Ben, bring in the wheel of energy. All right, so the way this works is we are going to spin the wheel, whatever energy it lands on. If that energy is in your pack, then all of the points in that pack are doubled and you score an extra point for every Pokemon of that type in that pack. I'm really hoping for eyeball energy this time. You think eyeball energy? Yep. Yeah, I'm hoping for not electric, basically. Dark. Dark. Oh, and there's only one dark on there, so that's kind of a rare one to get. All right, let's see how people are going to do. All righty. Not only are we going to be on the lookout for darkness energy and dark Pokemon, we also have our three chase cards for the episode. Two common, one uncommon, which we have run the numbers for off camera. Uh, ben, what are our chase cards today? Today, we are on the hunt for the number 10 card, or Cricketune, oh. valued at a whopping four cents. Mm. However, today we'll earn you a whole point. A whole point. Uh, in addition to that, we are looking for the number 28 card or Psyduck, which is also worth an additional three cents typically, but today one point. And finally, Mantine, the number 34 card, typically worth two cents, but today one point. They're all going up there. So lots of extra ways to score points on the board. Last time we got that electric energy and that was terrible. There are no electric Pokemon in this entire set. I know, it was such a bummer. It was like, oh, will there be? Not, nope, not no. this pack either. Not this pack either. Yeah. All right, are we ready to break the box? Let's break the box. Do Here it. we go. I was asking the experts in the back and they assured me that this is a particularly rare box. Oh, you think so? Yeah, that's what the experts in the back say at least. Okay, the guys in the back, they, they handpicked this box just for the occasion. All right, there we go. Freshly opened. Our first patron of the day is Dakota Ballantyne, who's on the board right now with a solid two points from July. So we'll see if they can uh, score a little higher this time around. Ben, do you want to do? Do you want to pull the first pack? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna okay. do it. Hang on, hang on. Gonna oh, go into extra, extra mode. Boom. There it is. Okay. There it is. Okay. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Front pack. Front pull. Front pack. It actually feels a little light. Let's see how we did here, Dakota. Looking out for you. Only two points last time. You can do better, I think. Do we have the dark? Oh yeah, we gotta do it. Okay, yeah, so drop the code card. One, two, three, four. Shwee. To the back. And the reveal. <gasps> oh, oh, it's the lightning from last time. No extra doubling on your pack, Dakota. Let's All see. All right, that. let's see here. Let's be there. Mischievous. Oh, there's the dark Pokemon. There's the dark Pokemon, so there's one, one point. one extra point. The Eevee, the Regi, so this is a double star. Okay, so we'll get uh, a little pack. extra there. And, and the Thievil! Okay, so I can already tell you that uh, Regice and Thievil are each only worth a point a piece, but because Thievil is actually a dark type, that should count for two points for the Thievil, That right? does count for two points, All that right. is correct. 
That should bring Dakota's point total for the month uh, up to four. Allow me to clarify, Dakota's total for the month of August is four. Her grand total for the entire Astral Radiant series is six. After we finish this box, we should have a winner for the Astral Radiance series since Lost Origin comes out in September. Meaning, we'll just switch gears to that. We'll switch gears to that. Perfect. Next up, B Grim thirteen. B Grim. B Grim's entering today's contest with a solid two points as well, similar okay. to Dakota. Okay. Let's see if I can boost your point total a little, Mr. Grim. All right. Do we have our first multiplier of the day? We oh do my not know. Oh, what are the odds? All right. If only it was last month, you guys. If only it was last month. Air across it's like you're holding your cards off like close to the chest here. Is it Mantine? This is a bonus one, right? Oh, Mantine is a Mantine bonus is one, yeah. one. <gasps> I do see something shiny back there, Ben. Let's see. Boom! Oh! oh! That is gonna be a huge grab for B Grim 13. That is the Alt Art Starmie V featuring Misty from the Trainer Gallery. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Dude, you don't even know how many boxes of Astral Radiance we have opened and not pulled this card. This is a cool. really good pull. Oh my gosh, so what is that? That's uh, Trainer, Trainer Gallery, Gallery number 13. 13. Let's wow, see. wow, 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 wow. Really good pull there. And then we'll uh, end things off on the Leaf Yawn. We didn't see any dark cards in there at all. Double check. $36.17 That's gonna that be, Starmie. Wow, that's gonna be 37, 37 points for the Starmie, 38, 39 total points for B Grim right there, plus the two uh, from last month. That's gonna bring their total up to 41 overall. That is a commanding first place right now. Way to be wow. on the leaderboard. Right out of the gates, Man, too. Impressive. impressive. I love this card. Dude, me this too. Is, this is like, it's you don't get much more OG than Misty. Yeah, so. right. It's like, you know, whenever they put like Misty or Brock on something, that's like, mm, that's gonna be, it's like having Charizard or Pikachu. Right, like, you know it's gonna be cool. Plus, yeah. her little float is like, it's like a, oh, it's it is like a little Pokeball. Pokeball. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, All it. right. Apparently, Jay has the hot hand for today. That's right. Sorry, Brant Klassen. I won't be pulling your pack. Brant's coming into today's episode with a current four point total. From July, so a little better going out of the gate. But I don't know, they're the gonna gate. need quite the pull to catch up to B Grim. Oh, nope. yeah, fighting energy, so mm -hmm. nothing there. Nothing there. But Side the Psyduck was, there's there an extra go. point. The Magnemite, the Ralts, and oh, Ooh. another Trainer Gallery. We have Jasmine and the Bronzong. There we go, Trainer Gallery 11. Along with the Regilecki. All right, so the Psyduck and the Regilecki are each gonna be, each gonna be worth one point. How much is the Bronzong worth? Oh, only a dollar 20, so oh, no. rounds up to two points. $2. Beautiful card, not very wow. high value. That's gonna get you to a solid eight points. Four Astral Radiance, Brandt Klassen. Uh, it might not be the highest value card, but it is a really cool looking card. All right, next up, Dola, who comes into today's round with one point. So Dola's gonna need me to do some really big work for her. Uh, you know what? I There's honestly, no I feel like with this, with a lone point, it's hard to get just the one point. Yeah, I feel like I kind of owe Dola some points as well because she uh, keeps voting for me over on Popcorn Culture to be the one true host, which is always nice. Although yeah. no energy card in Dola's pack. Oh, is there no? Oh, you're right. There's no energy card because Dola pulled the V, the dreaded V star. This must have been what happened last time. I know it must have been. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's see if Dola could do any better with the rest of her pack. The Ursa ring, the feather ball, the barbo. Like do you see like just a glimmer of of a glimmer of on something? That? Yeah. Oh, the Radiant Greninja, and I do see something else back there. It's oh! the uh, the regular Starmie V. So uh, B Grim pulled the alt art version of this card, which was quite a lot of points. I have a feeling that means this one is not gonna be doing so much, but the Radiant Greninja is still a really good pull. Uh, yeah, that's a well. very competitive card. Let's yes, see it here. Is. Uh, that is four dollars and fifteen cents. So, so that's a five. that's a five dollar, and then the Sarmi, which is a dollar nine, so an additional two. All right, so Dola gets plus seven on the month for a grand total of eight on Astral Radiance. There we go. Well played, Dola. Well played. We still have yet to get our first uh, Dark Energy multiplier of the round. I know, I know. It, it it feels like it's gotta be coming. Matt Cox, will you be the first to get a dark energy? All right, let's see that dark energy. <gasps> Three, two. Oh, oh, no good, no good. I swear, if Drifloon had been on it, people would be racking up the side. There's your side up. That's a yep. point. 
Well, it's the Zisu. That is just an uncommon card, so that one won't count. And the Avalog, looking oh, like just a two-point pack two there for Matt Cox. Matt only had two points coming into the round, so he's going to end Astral Radiance at four points. All right, Ben, next up, I've got Robbie Cruz. You know what, Robbie? I'm going to pick from the middle. Ooh. Going from the middle here. Feeling wild. Feeling Look, wild. Looks dense. Looks dense. Robbie comes into the round with three points. Can we do better? Then Altar Misty though. Mm. I, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna call. Robbie's gonna walk away with nine points or more. All right. Do does Robbie get the Dark Energy boost? No, no not it, not. not one yet. The Scyther is just everywhere in this pack. The Noctowl is just an uncommon. So, ooh. Oh. Yeah, man, that's a bad call. Uh, it was a bad call. Robbie gets just the one point on the oh pack for the gosh, Braviary. Oh my gosh, no multipliers, no nothing. Oh, no nothing at all. Sorry about that, buddy, but these cards are still coming your way. Sammy San 88. Sammy San 88 with two points coming two points. into the day. Who we got in our cover art here? Ooh, Dialga. Dialga, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, the mess. Someone's gonna get that dark energy, man. I know, it's gotta be coming. There's a dark Pokemon. So that's okay, one point. That's, that's a point right there. Yep. Oh, there's another dark Pokemon. Okay. Looking good. There's a third, a third dark, dark Pokemon. Pokemon. And just a. Oh, and the Galad. So it is a hollow. I imagine it's still just worth uh, the one point, but we should double check. We'll double check for safety. 27 cents. 27 so cents. Oh, but we get bummer. four points total on the pack because we have the four, the four darts. Really good use of the dark cards. That's definitely the most we've had from that mechanic of the game thus far. You'll love to see it. You'll, You'll love, love to, to see, see things working out the way that we intended. I know, right? You know, someone here is going to get like a very high roll dark card as their uh, like star card at some point. It's true. Right? Yeah, it's got to be coming. Yeah, you gotta think. You gotta think. All right, maybe it'll be for Stacy, who was coming into the day with two points herself. Let's see. Go off the front again. I'm sorry. The middle of the pack that that didn't work for us last time. You know, you never just, can be too sure about pure random chance. You never can be too sure about it. Exactly. So. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Ba bam. Will we get the dark? No, uh, man. No lots dark of fighting all. energy. Fighting. There is a dark is there a Pokemon, Pokemon, though, okay. so that's a point right there. Nothing with uh, Kamado, Noctowl, Sneasel. Oh, there's a, there's yep. a dark. We got another point on the board. Another dark. Double Overquill and the Basque Legion as the rare in the pack. So that's going to be a solid four points, it's looking like, for Stacy. Really almost the exact same as we saw in the very last uh, pack, meaning Stacy ends Astral Radiance with six points. Ben, you've got Bryant Ward. Bryant Ward. Coming into the day with four points. You can really see how getting that one big pull can make a huge difference. I know, it really can, especially over campaign. the length of a full season. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, we got at least one dark in there as well. So that's there you go. So you've already got at least one point we can see. Okay. Boom, and boom, another boom. fighting. If we had wow. had fighting, the canceling cologne, which I am wearing again today as of course, ever. Yep. Okay, oh, there's, 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 there's our dark. dark. We saw it. Yep. There's oh, man, the quillfish are showing up in. There's two, are those two different kinds of quill? There's two different quillfish in this set. Okay. Because that's what we needed. We needed a lot of quillfish in the game. Yeah, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, we you got something. something back there. And the Hisuian Samurai. Ooh, that's fun. There we go. All okay. right. Oh, and see, this is the dark card. So you get an extra point for it. There you go. That's perfect. Okay, so that's going to be card number 101. $1.41. So two points. So an two extra points. point for the dark gets you to three points. Uh, four, five with the two additional. Dark cards. There you go. Bryant Ward ends Astral Radiance with nine points in total. Well done, Bryant. Emerald Phoenix, who has 13 points. So a really good cushion coming in. Yeah, absolutely. It absolutely. A, I think Emerald was sitting pretty sitting pretty in the stands last time. This would be this would be impressive. This like to see like a repeat performance here, you know. That's true. That's true. Like are we gonna start to see like like uh, well, some people have the luck. The luck. Yeah. Yeah. Like that essence. Is it is it luck or is it skill? You know, let's find out. Because we haven't had a dark yet either. Oh, oh no. eyeball energy! Eyeball energy, excellent. All right, the Pillow Swine, Gardenia's Vigor, the Wish. Oh, this would have been a great, great pack last month. I'll tell you what. The Ralts, the Mischievous. There's the one point on the Sneasel. That is, no, just an uncommon Uxie. And a different Hisuian Samurai. That How about one, that? That's crazy. That one, I have to imagine, is only worth uh, probably a dollar. 
fact. Yeah, I guess. we're at thirty-four cents, which is up to cents, one point two. But it's worth two because it's a dark card. There you go. So a three-point total on the pack. Well done, Emerald. Sixteen points total. Is that what it brings them to? Sixteen or total for, for the Astral, Astral Radiance. Radiance season. Now, yep. for what it's worth, we started halfway through Astral Radiance in terms of its run. A typical season will last you four. Uh, yeah. Episode. So typically you should have four cards from each set. Yes. Which we will pick up with um, Lost Origin. Lost Origin. Yes. For September. Next up, Lacey Nielsen. All right, Lacey. Also two points coming into the day. It's, it's, it's weird there. that you start pulling for an energy at some point in time. That's the fun of it, I think. All right. Bum, will bum, it bum, be? Bum. Oh, no, water. It no, no, no. We haven't had a single Krikatune yet. There's a dark ener or dark Pokemon. Dark Pokemon. Here's oh, another the dark. Quillfish. Oh, oh there's the trainer gallery cleaver. That is it. I mean, cleaver of all from Scyther, which is obviously the best Pokemon that's ever been created. So this is pretty cool. There you go. And then the Registeel, which will just get you a single point, point there. So. Let's check the cleaver. Or, yeah, the cleaver for uh, in our trainer gallery. We're looking at a, a minimum four points, but maybe more for the cleaver. Dollar twenty for the okay. cleaver. Well, that'll get you actually two points total. For right. So that's going to be. Five points total on the month, seven points total for Astral Radiance, and the Trainer Gallery Cleaver will be coming to you in the mail real soon, Lacey. Abby Mondin, who, like so many others, has just two points coming in. But as we've seen, it only takes one good pull, you know? You're one golden Dialga V-Star away from running away with this thing. Basically. Basically. Or a good dark energy match with a, you know, a medium. Rarity card. Whoop! <gasps> the metal. So still, the dark energy eludes us. Oh, there's a the point Psyduck. for the side duck. And uh, the Reggie Rock. So unfortunately, that looks like a two point pack for Abby as well. A and repeat performance. Ends Astral Radiance with a whopping four points. A whopping four points. Thanks for playing, Abby. Then you've got Afropunk. Afropunk! Afropunk who comes in. They must have pulled the V-Star last time because they've got just a single point coming just, into the just round. Just the one point. Wow. I will say that the guys in the back told me that this particular pack, this pack. Uh, was weighing in uh, at a solid <laughs> extra uh, gram or two. Oh, okay. That's what, that's what the guys in the back were saying. I hope so. But they're not always right. They're so. not always right. Not the most reliable, the guys in the back. But you gotta love them. <clears throat> All Let's right, see that dark we get energy, it. Man. Oh, we oh, got the is. dark energy. We got so the dark energy. Everything in this pack is worth double now. So no matter what, no matter what, two points. No matter what. Let's okay. see what we got. The feather ball. Let's see. There you go. Okay. The Bruciana. There we go. Yep. Worth two points now. Yep. Oh, oh, there we go, up to points. four points. And that is- We got a is, star, so that's, that's gonna be- um, oh, oh, look at this, and it's a dark card. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Okay, so um, Hisuian Sneasler V. Let's take a this look This is here. a full art too, so it should be a little bit rare. It should get some, this should have some points on it. We're gonna have to make sure we do all of our calculations. I know, right, yeah, we've got a lot of things in play all of a sudden. Wow. Right, 174 on our list is gonna come in at $9.49. So, so that is a 10, 10 point card, two times multiplier. But it's also it dark. And, and it's also dark, so that so goes to 11. So it's an 11. 11 point card, so it's 22 points 20, for the Sneasler. 22 points for this guy. It's gonna be two points. Yeah. For that's that 24. there, uh, and then we will have an additional four points total on top of that, so 28. Yes, 28 points on the pack. That is such a big one. That, oh my gosh, brings that is. the total to 29 for Astral Radiance, which is really impressive, but also is not going to be quite enough to take the lead from B. Grimm, who got that alt art Misty. Wow, what a comeback there from one point to 28 points. That's I know, how that's your luck a, can change. That's an, I really like this card, too. Dude, that's, me that's too. Really I don't think we've pulled this one yet. I don't think we have. That's awesome. This was apparently the booster box that we that we needed. Yeah, I know. Like if we just our, opened one more. The in-office collection yeah. would have like filled out so many of our blank spots. I know, if only, if only. I will tell you guys, we have opened a single box of Lost Order so far as we open this one it is live and we hit big on the first one <laughs> we did it big. we did we got we got the the giratina v i'm really proud of it so i'm just gonna brag a little anyway next up is aiden rudinier is who okay this is another person who comes into the round with just a single point Boy, the, the dark energy mixed with the rare dark card though that was really exciting dude the guys <laughs> in the back called it all they the were time. right they guys were right, in the back were right. Man, oh the cricket tap. We still haven't seen the cricket tune yet this whole uh 
this whole round should be a, worth the extra point as well. Have we seen a main team? We have in the yeah, okay. very first pack. Okay, okay. Water energy. All right. So there we go. The Yen Mega. There's Psyduck. one extra point. The this is a star card, so you get a Hisuian Lilligant as a point and the Mammoth Swine. I'm thinking that's looking like three. A three point. That's pack. a three point a pack three right point there. Pack. So yeah. a, a big old four spot. On the mind for Astral Radiance. All right, Ben, you had such a good round last time. Can you do the same for Alyssa White? Let's see. I'm gonna take the backpack. Oh, we're going backpack. Backpack, backpack yep. Oh boy. It's got a little bit of like a streak through the middle of it or something. You're right. Maybe this like, is gonna be like a like a miscut pattern like pack or something. I know, how about that? It's like it's like one of those things where it's like, does that make it more valuable or less? It just depends, right? I think like if it's a really rare card, like probably less valuable. Okay, okay. If it's like just sort of a common card, it's like, well, this is the rarest version of this common card. Let's see it. Let's see dark energy. Boom. Oh, oh the grass. The grass. Mm. Boring. Indeed. Cricketot. No Cricketune, though. The Jubilife Village, just an uncommon. So, uh, the mighty. Okay, so the mighty end of that is a dark Pokemon, so that'll get you uh, at two least points. Two, at least two points there. There you so. go. Plus two on August for a grand total of five on Astral Radiance, Alyssa. All right, next up, Andromeda 192, who looks like they had a, a fair round last time, getting a solid six points. A solid six points. That looks Not like they bad. took advantage of some multipliers or some bonus points. Well, considering we had the electric energy card. <clears throat> Yeah, last time. Last time, which basically did nothing for nobody. Uh, six is not a bad play for the last round. Right, ready? Oh, still no darkness energy though. Let's see, we have the Azelf, the Shieldon, the Uxi. Oh, there you go, that's an extra point. Knocked out, only uncommon, and the Vespaquin. So only a two point pack, two sadly. Two point pack. Can't repeat on the six points. Plus two brings Andromeda to eight for Astral Radiance. Your cards are in the mail. Annika Merton. Annika? Annika. Annika, with a whopping two points last round. Coming into the pack today. Well, bam! Oh, oh, the lightning. The lightning. There's been a lot of lightning this time. There's Only one dark still. Canceling Cologne as ever. Heracross. Oh, the main oh, that's a point. Okay, so that's a point right yep. there. The Voltorb, and Ooh. oh, there is something back there. Oh, the Alistair Full Art Trainer card. Shit. We have not pulled that out either. No, we haven't. That's, That's like, really it's like nice. Properly, like almost like kind of like creepy. I mean, he's a very creepy looking character for sure. He's the ghost type trainer okay. in the uh, Sword and Shield region. Plus the shame, it'll get you a point. The shame so will get you a point. Let's do the we'll, we'll check out TG24 out of the Trainer Gallery lineup to see how that does for you. That's a $4.29 card, rounds so. up to five. Plus the, the Shaman and the Mantine will get you up to seven points total. That makes it nine for Astral Radiance on the whole. Well done, Annika, great pack. Anna, yeah, that's, that's a really that's cool a one. That's a fun pack, there yeah, you go. We don't have that card here. All right, I've got Aerofell, who's coming in with the disappointing one point from July. Let's see if your fortunes can change. I'm pulling from the front of the pack, front of the box here. Okay, okay. Oh, you know what? I can already see something shiny just glinting out. I, I always love that. It's like it's part like, of me uh, never wants to know in advance, and the other part of me is like, <gasps> oh, oh, and, and the dark. dark. Uh -oh, okay, uh -oh. okay. So this, this is got like last time with the one pointer. I know, eyes on the prize, folks. Eyes, eyes, on, eyes the on the prize. prize. All right, we have the shield on. The heavy ball. The pure ugly. This is a lot of normals coming out. A lot of normies. Let's see, the Cricketot, the Pseudo Wudo, the Bronzer, just the common, but oh, look, dude, there's definitely something. There's something. Are you guys ready? It is gonna be the Origin Form Dialga V. So one of the um, Pokemon featured on all of the box art there. This is like a really competitive card as well. Uh, if you get the Dialga V-Star out, you can uh, use its V-Star power to take a second turn in a row and deal a ton of damage. It's really good if you can pull it off. And because you got the dark energy, it's going to double your points on whatever this is. Okay, so we're coming in at $2.57 oh, for this man, card. Really? I think there's a rarer version of the, it. I mean, there is like a several, but yeah. Yeah. Um, in the same in the same lineup, there is a different variation immediately one card after that comes in at $8.25. That would have been a heavy hit, a heavier hitter than what we've got here, but $2.57, which will bring you up to three points on that, multiplied by two gets you six, plus, uh, or is that it? That was it. That was it, okay, that so was it. it's a six point pack. Six point pack, seven for Astral Radiance. That's still a fun pack, Aerofell, Dialga's really good. That's a beautiful card too, Van and a competitive card, so. Yeah. All right, now we're into Beck Squad. Boy, these people who come in with one point, Ben, they're starting to like, they're starting to scare me a little with their 
like second round. Oh yeah, off these big combos. And I know. Packs. I think oh, is it me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. B. Sneezler. That's a point though for the dark card. Oh yeah. There you go. Good. Yep. Good eye, Jay. Good eye. There's your scyther. Scyther. You get brownie points for Jay. Jubilee Village and da, 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 da. ooh, it's a, it is a holographic, but I would bet that holographic Adam is still a single point. Let's just double check for safety. Will be twenty two cents for the Adam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that'll round you up to a solid point there, plus the Sneasel, which will bring you to two points total for the pack. There you go. Cards headed your way. Three points for Astral Radiance. Good job, Beck Squad. All right, I have got Benjamin Agassi, the other Ben. The some other would say ben. the better Ben. Well, I mean, some would say. Some, some would. would say, especially family and friends. <laughs> this is particular person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people. I probably would say that you're my favorite Ben. Oh. If I had, to, if I had like a whole list of Bens. You love to hear it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Do we have the dark energy? Oh, we don't. Just, just the grass. Just All right. So crash. nothing there. No cricket tune at all in the whole box so far. I am surprised. This but this boy, I gotta tell you, Benjamin Agassi did not come to play today. Uh, the Yan Mega is just uh, uncommon, and the Shaman is gonna be the single scoring point. Oh card. my gosh! Oh so boy. two points Benjamin, total across two packs. Oh man, that I mean, you hate to see it, but you just gotta think maybe Ben is saving up for that big pull next time in Lost Origin. Hopefully. Hopefully. Man. All right, Ben. Next up. Brianna Bouchard. All right, Brianna. Heavy hitter. I'm feeling Ben. I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. feeling a big pack here for Brianna. A big pack. Yeah. A strong pack. We've had some good pulls though. There's okay. no doubt. You know, I I'm torn because sometimes when you don't have any good pulls, you're like, well, they're still coming. Yeah. Now we've already had some big pulls, and it's yeah. like, <laughs> we we had the second pack misty, which is like, ooh boy. But you never know. Last night, uh, like I said, I was I was opening our first origin, lost origin. I pulled the Giratina V Star. I thought this is that's got to be the best card in the pack, but it wasn't. So you never know. You never know. Here yeah. we go. And the turn. Oh, oh eyeball, eyeball energy. energy. Mm. I'm looking forward to the day that Eyeball Energy is is our, yeah, is our the multiplier. Bonus. Would this would very be very useful. Oh, there, there we go. A little dark card. Yeah, there's been a lot of psychic in this particular pack too. There has eyeball been. in this deck. Cricket tot and, and da, 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 da. Oh. hey, there's some. There's a Heatran. Anyway, there we go. At least it's a it's a V. A little extra, a little extra color there. It's going to be number 25 on the list. I can tell you, I don't think Heatran is a particularly um, competitive card. So I'm not expecting this to be worth a ton. 69 cents. 69, 69 cents. cents. Oh you know. dear, that is a bummer. That is going to give you a two points on the pack for Brianna. It was still a fun pack, but that's four points total for Astral Radiance. All right, next up, Brilive. Brilive. I think we've been told how to say this, and I have messed it up every time we say Brilive. 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 All right, energy row, ready? Dark! Oh, Aww. that's all, man, you know. You gotta go for it, you gotta go big. You gotta go big, because when, when it pays off, when it pays <laughs> off. Exactly. Big. You just go big every oh, time. Oh, there goes the Sneasel, There's yep. the Sneasler, the Barbox, the Dartrix, and yeah, the Irida! Actually, it's a really good card. Um, I bet it's not high value, but it might be worth more than a single point, though, because okay. it is pretty competitive. That is, I mean, that's a $7.05 card. Are you serious? Rounds up to $8. That's an eight-point card? That's an eight-point card. Dude, Irida! All right, that's an eight-point card, plus the Sneasel. That's going to be uh, nine, giving you a 15-point total for Bree Live. Wow, I did not see that coming. I didn't realize Irida, I mean... That's how that's how competitive play affects the value of the cards. Dude, I'll take being shocked any day of the week. Though. Absolutely, and that's so fun. That's great. That's so fun because like you know you get some of those V's where where it feels like a like verging on that like full art. Yeah. You know aesthetic. You see like the black kind of like peeking through on the back as you're like scrolling through your cards and stuff. Yeah. And they tend to not be like super high value, so it's nice to see like the opposite can be true. As yeah, well. it's like just a regular hollow card. There it is. Boom. The thing is, sometimes the uncommon cards can also be worth like four. Or five bucks is like they're very useful, but like they're not very, they're not as rare. Right. But uh, those don't count for points in our game. So unfortunately, have to deal with that. Anyway, next up is Chris Ray. Only two dark energy, man. I feel like another one's got to be on the horizon. It does feel that way. It feels like we're we're long overdue at this point. Oh, oh but no energy in this one. Oh, no bummer. Energy. Oh, there's, there's a point a on the side up. Yeah, yep, we'll take something. that. We'll take that. Pseudo Wudo, Magnemite, oh, another, another Pseudo Wudo, and, a and the Reginald Rock. Rock. I can go ahead and tell you right now. Do the math. That's going to be a two-point pack. 
bringing Chris to five on Astral Radiance. But at least you get two pseudo Udos. Yeah. There so you there's go. that. <laughs> so yeah. there's that. Sleep easy at night. That's right. You have some fake rocks. All right, next up, Jade Culture, who's coming into the round with eight points on the day from July. Let's see if Jade can increase that number in any sort of meaningful way. They're gonna have to have a really big pack, though, to get up past 41. I mean, it doesn't seem impossible to get like a 30 point pack, though. It doesn't seem impossible. <laughs> it doesn't seem impossible. Just gotta pull that Beedrill V alt art. You know? That'd be a pretty great pull. That'd be a pretty great pull. Yeah. And you get the double with the dark energy, you know? <laughs> oh, no oh. doubles yet. Let's see, we've got the metal, the Ursa Ring, Kranidos, Sweet Honey, Yanma, another Pseudo Wudo. Hey, They're all over the place today. There's a point on the Nicket, the Trekking Shoes, and the Avalug. That's definitely a two-point pack right there. Two-point pack. Two-point pack, bringing Jade's total to 10 on Astral Radiance. Boy, B. Grim came out swinging and no one has been able to catch them yet. You know what we need to do is invent uh, a good prize for whoever comes in the lowest point total oh, as well. Oh, who gets like that solid two point? Yeah, because yeah. then it's like, then it's like, okay, okay. I'm competing for the bottom at this point. Right, yeah, like you, you don't you don't totally lose morale. Exactly. Yeah, there should be there should be a consolation prize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe even a quality eighth place prize. Ooh, a quality eighth place. Well, that's a throwback. I, would, I know, it is a throwback. All right, next up, Kimberly Lily. Kimberly Lily Lily. Coming in with two points from July. How can we do? All right, Miss Kim. And flip! Oh, Aww. the metal. There's your side duck. We'll yep. take it. We'll take it. Pseudo Wudo is not there worth anything. Is. I just think they're fun at this point. Oh! oh. There you go. The reverse hollow oh, side duck. That's fun. Look, two side ducks in here. Two side ducks and the Reginald Drago. Aww. That looks like a guy, a good a quality three. A, qu a quality three point quality pack. Quality three point pack right there for Kimberly Lee. That's gonna bring your total to five for Astral Radiance. Way to close out the season. Alright. We have Bubbles, who if you recall last time, strategy was top notch. It was, it yeah. was indeed. It was it was using a limited amount of pull power, but right. using the multipliers to her advantage. Now let's see if uh, Lauren here, AKA Bubbles, AKA our lawyer, not really. <laughs> not, not, but is a lawyer. But is a lawyer, <laughs> AKA Bubbles Esquire, can uh, pull off more strategy. Uh, so, something tells me it's gonna be the dark energy. You think like, so? You I, think I mean, so? Let's see it. Oh, good. Oh, oh it, felt like, it felt like it was it right did. there. It did. It was right there. Let's see how Bubs does. All right. Uh, the switch card, the Magnemite, the Ralts. There's uh, one okay. point. Classic Bubbles. Mm hmm. Barboach, the Registeel, that's gonna be a rare, so we do get one point there. Ugh, all right, there you go. So three points three across point the pack. pack. You can okay. see them trying to pull off the same strategy. I know. Lots of little points here and there. Almost there, almost there. Nickel and dimed its way up. Yeah, but. that's gonna bring uh, Lauren's score to 11 for Cards Astral Radiance. on the way to you, bubs. There you go. Next up, Linwood. Linwood! All right, Linwood, here we go. Let's see what we can do for you today. I'm always so worried I'm gonna like damage the cards in the yeah, process right, of getting in the process Sometimes of I feel like I should wear like white gloves. Mmm, mmm, maybe. Practice what if we pulled TV. something really, really rare? What if this is the Altar B drill, Ben? What if it is? Yeah. What if it is? And you're touching it with your gross oily fingers? Ugh, Ugh don't even say it. Yeah. <laughs> don't even say it. No. Oh. The metal, super effective. I feel like some of these cards we are still seeing for the first time. Oh, there's, there's a Psyduck, side duck. okay. Yep. You'll like love the to point see that. There. Yep. Reginald Drago and... So that's worth a point as well. Yep. And the, the Reg Ice. ice. Okay, well, so you've got a, some Reggies. It's a three-point pack. It's yep. a three-point pack. No doubt, all right. Three. That's gonna bring Linwood Sotil to five for Astral Radiance. Well done, Linwood. Cards on your way. On the way? The way. On a way. On, they are coming to you in some way, shape, or form. Next up... Uh, Mots. Mots. Who was watching Hamilton every single day this year. I don't know if you knew that. And has also done 75 hard and on our step competition on Patreon threw down at least 80,000 steps in one day. So Mots, Mots having a really big year. Have, Can Mots have a big day here Mots, on Box Breakers or as we like to call it CB Cubed. <laughs> Mots, are you ready? Dark energy! No, oh, eyeball energy. That's eyeball okay. Energy. You should at least know that's Luke's favorite, so there you go. We've got Roxanne, Corellia, the weight and oh, sea. Oh, the Psyduck, that's a point right there. It's Pseudo Wudo, Magnemite. Oh, points for the Sneasel. Is that a point for Glaceon? It is. And the Milte! 
tank. Now the mill tank is another one that might be like Irida. This is a very competitive card. It can lock people out of games. Uh, it's also a favorite on our Nuzlocke run. So let's double check the mill tank. That might be worth a few extra points as well. All right, we'll check you out there, milk tank. Mill tank. Milk tank. It milk does tank. make milk, so. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, this one only coming in at a dollar one, so a two point Let, card. This is still more than most. It is still more than most. It yeah. is still more than most. So we've this. got uh, two points for the mill tank, a point for the Psyduck, a point for the Sneasel, and a point for the Glaceon. There you go. That's going to be seven points total on Astral Radiance. Four Mots. Well done, sir. Well done. Megan Stevens. Megan. 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 We have not put a single cricket tune all day. No one has gotten that point yet. What is up with that? I don't know. Anyway, That's what I'm holding out for. I just want someone to get the cricket tune point. Guys in the back told me good things about this one. So oh, man, they haven't been wrong yet, except for the first time. But the second time, they were really, really right. So. Which means that 50% of the time, the guys in the back are work right every time. <laughs> oh, oh, the guys in the back are right again! How about it? No okay. way. All right, so the double. Okay. Let's see it. Oh, oh right. and then the dark bite. That feels like a good omen. It does feel like a good omen. It does yeah. feel like a good omen. Okay. It's dark day here. Tracking shoes. Antler. Oh, the quillfish. Okay, All right, so that'll be worth go. doubles. So it's a two point quillfish. Two fish. point quillfish. Yep. All right, let's see here. The combi, the to double togepi in there. And. Oh, oh the Reginald Gigas. There okay, you go. I, that, well, that could be worth it more over a dollar. Let's 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 check for As safety. Like the king of the Reggies. Let's check for safety. So close. Fifty three cents. 53 That'll cents. round up to one. Mul uh, yeah. Yeah. Multiply by two. Bring it to two points. Yeah. Uh, and you'll also get the two points for the quillfish. So a four point total. There you go. There you go, Megan. Well done. <laughs> Six for Astral Radiance. The guys in the back still knew that the energy card. They was could feel be it, man. They could. The guys they in could. the back know. They know what they're talking about. Man. All right. Next up, Mostwig. Mostwig. All right, Mostwig. Let's see it. Oh. Thirteen points. Last Thirteen go points. Wait, so, what did Mostwig get? Must have been quite a round. The question is, what is the Trainer Gallery Zation V worth? It's $11.83. There you go, it's a 12 point card. Whoa! Plus the Rapidash, that's gonna be a 13 point pack right there. Imagine if they'd had the Lightning Multiplier for Moss I told you Moss Twig came to play, man. Must have been, I think it was a Trainer Gallery. Trainer Gallery Zation V. Okay, all I right. Think so. Well, let's see if they can repeat. 13 points, now that, it makes it feel like getting to 41 isn't as, I mean, no one else has got like a 30 point pack at all. Right, that's true, that's true. But that I doesn't mean, mean so, this one couldn't be. Right, that's the thing is that like, we we have throughout the history of our, our pack pulling, pulled cards worth over $100 before. So it's yeah. like, th I mean, there is the ability with no multiplier to just, to like, just go. put yourself on the leaderboard. Wish guess. so there's no energy in this pack because it had the V-Star counter. So that's working against you. Oh, two wish Although, back that's to back. very weird. That's like some sort of misprint situation there because one should be reverse hollow if they're gonna do that. Um, that's weird. <laughs> Temple of Sinnoh, Scombi, Chadot, Drifloon, oh, there's, there's a point on the Psyduck. Oh, the Radiant Heatran, that's fun. And, brr, oh, the Registeel. All right, so let's see if that Radiant Heatran is worth anything extra. Let's see, that's a number 27. It's not quite as competitive as the Greninja, which is like one of the best cards in the game right now. This is probably the least used Radiant Pokemon, which is probably hurting its value. Yeah, so 42 cents for the mm -hmm. Heatran will round you up to one point, plus the Registeel will get you to two points, and the Psyduck gets you to three points All right, that's on the a pack. 16 point total for Mostwig on Astral Radiant. Still a pretty good showing. Very respectable. Double plus wish cash. Double too. wish cash. That's weird. Yeah. yeah, you got the, you got like a, mis, a, a misprinted pack almost. You can, you can as wish cash those in all you need. <laughs> exactly. Rosalind Goddard. All right, Rosalyn. Coming in with uh, two points as well from July. Is Roz from Monsters, Inc. Agent Zero? Yeah. Roz. Roz. Always watching. And the flip, oh. Oh, no dark, no dark. Just well, the flip, guys in the just, back, though, they didn't uh, say anything, they didn't about, say this anything one, about this so. one. No, they sure didn't. So their 50-50-ish they're, they're streak continues. Although, if this had been a water. I know, if this, only. It's a very wet deck I've got in my hands. Yeah. Let's see here. Ponyta, the Krikata. No Krikata. There's the oh, Krikata! That's a point. That's a point. And. Oh, the Deonsi. Okay, so this is another competitive card we might want to double check. I would give it a, a possible two point value, but you never know. It could be a little higher. Dollar 86. There we'll, you go. We'll round you right on up to two points there, plus an additional it. for the Krikatoon. First one we've seen on the day. So the rarest Krikatoon 
of them all, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. And it's a reverse hollow of all things. So I know. Pretty, it's, even, it's like kind of special. It does. It feels like the reverse hollow cricket dude must be pretty hard to get. Um, that's going to you to five total, Rosalind, for Astral Radiance. Next up is Simon Perchert, who his name I wrote poorly. I didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Simon! Simon! <laughs> Oh, just the water energy there for Simon so far. The switch card. Oh, the cricket tune. Oh, now they're just showing Here up. They are. Now they're just showing up. There's the set. Oh, and the quillfish. That'll okay. give you a point. All right. The togepi, the combi. That is a star avalog. Boom. And the Miss Magus. So it looks to me like a four point pack. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Four points on the day. What's that bringing their total to? Seven for Astral Radiance. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Moving on up, but of course the number to beat is 41. 41! 41 on that Still can't misty. believe it. Still can't believe it. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Next up we have Tyler Seigel. Tyler, Tyler! Tyler! Tyler and Simon. <clears throat> it's a dangerous game playing last names. I know, yeah. <laughs> Seigel, Seigel, Sigil? I don't know. Thanks for supporting us. And... Darkness! Oh, oh it, is it is a darkness! A dark okay, wow. okay. Okay, so double points on everything in the pack. This is a great opportunity to jump ahead. I've not seen any dark cards yet. Oh no. no. It can still all come down to that last one though. I right, need the chat on, the do on, that's just uncommon, so. The Registeel, oh, oh no, what gosh. a wasted double I multiplier. Oh. Here I was about to call out the guys in the back, but they must have known They must that. have known. Oh man, they okay, saw, well, like, well you get it, but. A whipper whopping two points I to bring know. Tyler up to six points man. on Astral Radiance. That's rough stuff, bud. Thank you for your support, Tyler. Cards coming your way. Yep, next up we have Vincent. Vincent! All right, let's see it, dude. You got it, dude. Coming in with four points, so. Uh, moderate performance last month. Let's see. We've seen four dark energies now. That's about as many as you can expect. So I'm not expecting another oh! one, but I was wrong! <laughs> I love it. You can't play in this stuff. You, you can't play in it. Five, man, we went from zero to five just like that. So everything is multiplied in this pack. Let's see. The dark patch feels like a good omen with uh, the darkness theme we've got going, but so far. Uh, not seeing. You get the sight there. The Gallade is a star, so you do have okay. double. Oh, and there is something back there, Ben. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's got the sil. Is that the silver edge? Let's see. Oh. 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 Oh, it is the full artist who eats Samurai V! That is a great pull, and it's dark, so that's already worth one extra bonus point on there. Wow. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So what that's a pull for Vincent. Be that's gonna be number one seventy six. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's go to our let's go to our notes here. Number one seventy six is gonna come in at five dollars and twenty cents. That's gonna be a six point card plus one for being dark, so, so seven, seven times two. Yeah, fourteen plus two more. So two more. sixteen point pack. That was a that was a pretty strategic pack right there. That was that was really good. Brings up to twenty points. That's probably I think that might be good for second place overall. It's at least it's at least in the top five. Absolutely, else. I know. man, it's yeah, amazing. Really cool. Great, man. great pull. The last second dark energy. I didn't think we had any left in the box. There's I only two more in there. So, man, let's see. We've got Cameron Sherpa on the board now. We have two more chances for someone to beat B Grim and oh. get above that 41 point total. But you got to think. They are feeling pretty good about their odds, although I see a Mantine right here. That's going to be at least one extra I know, point. I know. And this is, <clears throat> yet again, I think I think the guys in the back oh, have wow. a good feeling. They got a good feeling? I think they do. I think that Mantine, it was, I didn't, they didn't say anything before I opened okay. it, but when I saw the Mantine, uh, they came in on my on my ear. On your ear? Okay, okay the grass. So, so it must be have like a, it must be just a big card at the back then, right? It must right? just be a big card at the back. Unless Let's the boys see. in the back don't know what they're talking about. Well, you know, they are about 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> There's our main team, which gave there him such is. good That's feels. The, the Scyther, which apparently if we had included in this, people would be raking in the points. Yeah, no, the Voltorb. The Voltorb. The Glamia, is that a star? It is, and, and oh, it is something, Ben. The boys in the back are on, it is shimmery, shiny. Ready? I'm ready. Oh! 
Oh, it is a Rainbow Cleaver V-Star. Whoa, that is pretty awesome. I don't think we pulled that at all. Oh my gosh, that's I know, really this box cool. just continues, it continues to deliver. I know, this is the we box had, we should have opened. I know, we have oh, one man. left. Okay, oh my gosh, but I'd rather you guys get it, to be honest. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, let's see. So here. we have at least two points for the Azov and the Man team. I suspect the cleaver's not worth $40, but it's, I bet it's not worth nothing. It's worth $10.48, so it comes in at an $11, an 11 or 11 point. There you uh, go. We get an extra point for the Mantine, which will bring you to 12, and one for, um, oh no, I'm sorry, not for the, as, uh, um. Oh, not for the Azel. Yeah. Oh, oh whoops, yep. whoops, so, whoops, 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 whoops. So that's plus 12 instead of plus 13, so that's gonna be a 14 point Total boy, the rainbow vista. What a box! Uh, what a box we indeed! I know so we far. pulled some. We pulled some wild stuff here. Boy, the alt misty right out of the gate. That has been. That's crazy. So we had. That's a, we put a rainbow and an alt art now. Uh, it does see it's it's not impossible to pull something pull something else, but man. Last pack though. Last yeah, pack. Yeah. Yeah, all coming in with a single point. So if Yael hopes to take home the big money here. Uh, they're Got going it. to need a solid 41 point pack right now. I don't know how many cards even register above that. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Maybe she's got the dark energy for the multiplier, you know? Who's to say? Whoa! She doesn't. Oh no, okay. unfortunately, okay. There we go, okay. the grass, the Yanmega, the Gape Jaw. Unless it is something, oh, it is something back there. I can see is it, it you shining can see a little, out. Little like kind of so sneaking around the oh, corner. Oh, the Deancey. The Deancey. Okay, so there is something. Okay. Let's see. Okay. The Deancey is worth one point, and the Garchomp V. Man, so it's a really cool Pokemon. Not particularly competitive, uh, and just like base V rarity here. Not like full art or anything. Probably worth a few extra points. Let's see, no, that only comes in at 92 cents. Oh no, so it rounds so up just to the one point. Just a one point uh, on the Garchomp. And the Deancey also just worth the one points for two. Brings Yael's total to three on Astral Radiance. And that is the end of this box break. Mayonnaise, y'all. Box has been broken. Boom. All right, so you know what time it is? Box? Two, because we've had more people sign up over at Patreon, so we've got to crack into the second box. Now, ideally, we would have two complete 36-person sets, yes. so we could have two full episodes, but right now, we're in that in-between zone, so we're well, just going to cram it all into one. One mega episode mega until episode. it ends up being multiple episodes. Uh, in a perfect world, we would actually have an episode per week Yes. with 36 different individuals each week. That's right. So if you're sitting at home right now and you're thinking, you know what? This looks like too much fun. This looks like too much fun. I, I'm missing out. I'm missing out. And <laughs> that was a fantastic shot. I want to get in on it. Patreon.com slash Gaming. Select the box breakers tier. The other fun thing is that we've actually got like the different teams as well. That yeah. like once they're fully fleshed out, the teams can start competing. You know, we've got all the different types yeah. and such. Uh, in the meantime, though, yeah, if you'd like to go and check that out. And we shall continue with person number next. Person number next is going to be Tyler Grills. Tyler Grills. Maybe Grillies? Man, I'm so bad. We're so bad at the names. Tyler Gillies. Is there an R? Gillies! Oh my gosh. Tyler Gillies! Tyler Gillies! All right, Tyler. Ty, can I call you Ty? I'm gonna. You could. Yeah. Well, unless they tell us not to. In well, case, you know. You know. You inform us. Put in the pronunciation. Let's see. Can Tyler come out of the gate, guns blazing, with a darkness energy? For that uh, double, that's sweet. Because we're in a new box now, so you gotta figure the odds reset on okay, energy. Everything, Ready? everything's. Oh, oh no! No luck for Tyler right now, but maybe he can pull some chase cards. The Duat, the Yen Mega, the Swinum. There's the Nicket. That's okay, a point that's right a point. there. We're on the There's board. The Bergmite, the Hippopotas. Oh, I think I see something back there. You think so? Oh, the Lucario V. Lucario. So at least, at least a point. At least a point. At least, at least two points. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, at least two points. Let's see. What yeah. Lucario gets us? That's gonna, that be, number gonna be number seventy-eight. Seventy-eight on our list at one dollar thirty cents, meaning that's a two-dollar or a two-point card plus the nicket, three points. Ma'am, you're Nailed on the board. It. You're on, on the, board, the board, Tyler. Well done, sir. Way to kick off box number two. Ben, your first pull is gonna be Russell Pong. R Pong? Pong. That's what Russell it says. Pong. Mate, yeah. Here's your pack in all of its glory. Let's take a look here. Let's see how. See how we can do for you. And Flurry 
Oh, oh no fighting. Or no, yes fighting. Yes no fighting, dark. no no dark. Yep, oh, the well, cancel, cancel Ben's cologne. canceling cologne. Ben's canceling cologne. We should really come out with our own cologne line. We should. Ben's this is cologne. Ben's canceling cologne. Everyone hates it. Except they kind of love it. Ooh, the mill tank. Okay, so that's at least a point there. There it is. And... The oh. Deancey. Okay, so okay. we should actually look both of these up because they are both pretty competitive. I think we did look up the Deancey earlier, but let's let's give it a second chance here. A second chancey for yeah. the Deancey? Yeah. All right, let's see. Number 126 on that mill tank is going to be $1.01. One so they're, they're actually... The perfect play! The that's, perfect. That's, a, so that's two points that's right two there. That's two points for the mill tank. And then number 68 for the Deancey is going to be at $1.86. Man, so that this actually is a four-point pack. That's solid. That's pretty good. Considering it's not like a full art or anything like that. You so. love the one cent. I know, yeah, Take I know. Take full advantage yeah. of the rounding. That's just right. smart play. You know, they say work smarter, not harder. Well done, Russell. You followed the good advice. All right, next up is Mask Maker. I got your back, Mask Maker. I got your back. Oh no, there's no oh, energy card no, at all. No potential. It turns multiplier. out I don't has your back. Oh no. Oh, there's a point though with the Nicket, the Choi. Uh oh. Oh, and the Reginald Drago. Okay, sorry. Turns out, Mask Maker, I did not have your back. That's looking like a solid two-point pack, a two though. two-point pack, a two-point pack, but either which way, all these cards headed right in your direction. Coming to ya. Thank you for your support. Lauren Engberg. Lauren! Let's see what we can do for you, Lauren. Here's your pack. It feels it feels sturdy, you know? Like yeah. I don't know if you ever noticed that, but like sometimes, sometimes it's, it's like, pack and mm, it's like there's a little extra ink in here. There's a little extra ink. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll do the flip! Oh, oh eyeball, eyeball energy. energy! Oh, okay, the so the sneasel, sneeze will get you That's at least one point on the yep. board, on the board. Pet Lil. And... Oh! oh log. Go so ahead and tell you that's a two point pack. Two point Lauren. pack. Oh, Lauren, I tried for you. I thought it was. I thought it was solid, but maybe it was just, just wishful thinking. Ben. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I was pulling for you though. No doubt. No doubt. Next up, another Wait. Lauren. Lauren Brinsfield. A lot of Lorens in this game. We do have a lot of Lorens. Yeah, well, Lauren's at least three like Pokemon. Yeah, at least three. <laughs> Known fact. Known fact. fact. If you know someone named Lauren, just go ahead and buy them something Pokemon related. Can we find another Darkness Energy? Oh, we we did. did! Boom! The big floor. So everything is multiplied in this one. Lauren Brinsfield has a big chance to get some. Oh, oh, right there. There's two more points right there. You love to see it. The Ponard, the Hisuian Voltorb, the Rufflet, the Ponyta, the Bronzor. Okay. That is a rare. So that's okay. good. So that's going to be another two points. And then. Oh, oh Dolly Garganine! Look what at that. are the odds? That is hilarious. That's, that's going to be a, a six, six point, point pack. But I mean, that's a very competitive six points using the uh, the two times multiplier that there is. to get you ramped up from three to the six. Very well done, Lauren. Very good. Best best uh, pack out of box two thus far. Thus far. Yeah, so. Though so nothing nothing full art yet, right? Nothing. Oh no, we had we had one. We had the Lucario V, yeah. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. Cantavian McGrath. Boy, with a name like Cantavian McGrath, then I, I, force, they come to play. Force to be reckoned with is let's the way see. that I see it. Is the way that I see it there. Okay, so let's see here. If I were to describe this pack, it would be flimsy. Flimsy? A flim, a, a flim flam pack. But maybe last time I thought it seemed sturdy. Yeah. And that was nothing for us. So maybe the the hollows are actually like quietly thinner. Right. You know. We'll see. That doesn't seem oh. like it would make it, sense. It doesn't but seem like it would make sense. It doesn't. No. Okay. So water energy. You have some competitive cards in your pack. <laughs> okay. There's, there's a the naked. naked. So that there's gets you a point. point. Boom. Is that a star? No. Just a diamond. And. and Gardenia's Vigor, Full Art Trainer. That is fantastic. These are my favorite way to play uh, the trainer cards. Oh my That's gosh. That's how they get you. It's so true. You know, and it's yeah. funny because these can come in rainbow as well. They can. And I feel like the, the full color is actually yeah. prettier than like, the rainbow. The rainbow would be considered rare, but I think these actually are worth more and are more sought after. Yes. All right. So, so that's going to be card number 184. 184 for Gardenia there. See, and that's the also a pretty good card. The flimsy pack, though. Yeah, you were right. It I was know, a flimsy right? one. It was the flimsy. That's a $14.65 card, so that's a $15 card. 15 point card. For 15 points. Plus the nick, it gives you 16 points. Like, for well, welcome to like the leaderboard welcome, all of yeah, a sudden. No, wow. Way to. We said it, though. We said, we knew. Yeah. We knew they came to play. McGrath brings the wrath, as expected. But next up is Jupiter Fox. Right, I think I'm saying that right. I believe so. Okay, that's how they wrote it on the card. Fox is such a cool surname. It is, it's right? Like, oh. Got it. 
You got it. All right, let's see. Does it feel flimsy? I, I, I don't think it feels that flimsy. Okay. We'll okay. find out. Okay. Oh, eyeball, eyeball energy. energy. So at least I'm, you have Luke's favorite energy. Can't wait for the day when eyeball energy is our is our energy of the I day. I know, right? Especially our type advantage. Yeah, lots of it would have been such a good pack if that was the case. I know, I know. <laughs> been so many. Right, this is a magneton the, again. Again, another reverse holo magneton and a rampardos, which is holographic. I guess we can double check it just to make sure because we haven't seen this one yet. Yeah, it's what is seventy seven? Number seventy seven. We'll take it to the sheet. Forty three cents. Forty three cents. Just a single a lone single point. point pack. Oh, Oh, sorry about that, Jupiter Fox. But the good news is you still have an amazing last name, and these cards are still coming to you. Exactly. Oh, boy, I like this name, too. John Borg. John Borg! John Borg. Possibly right. a robot. John Borg. I'm sure he's never heard that joke before in his whole life. Probably not even once. Not, not even, even once. one single time. We are yeah. now being original. We are. Look at us go. <laughs> Look at us go. Mr. John Borg. Mr. Borg. Mr. Can, I, Mr. Can, I, can I call you Mr. Borg? I think you should. Oh, you've got a scyther yeah. there, so you've at least got 100 J point, brownie points. Which are worth nothing. Which are worth nothing, but... Ooh, oh, but you have a dark energy! Uh -oh. Okay, so the dark energy... Boy, the game is the foot now. The game is the foot. All bets are off. There's your J points. Yep, there's the haircuts. No other dark... Oh, the Mantine, that's an extra oh, point. Oh, the Mantine, one of our chase yep, cards. that'll get us one there, so that's our, worth two. Uh-oh, oh, oh. I see a full art. Oh, and this is this is gonna be really cool because there's another card behind it which could also be full art. This is the trainer gallery card, the okay, Kingdra. The Kingdra, that's a really cool looking card. And Although, oh, oh okay. the, but it is dark. It is dark. So, so that's worth two. Well, I guess it it really is still just gonna be worth two points. It's isn't still it? just worth two points. Yeah, because the Thievel's only worth one point, but it's dark, which makes it times no. This is the rare card plus it's a dark card, so it's two. Okay. Times the multiplier makes it four, right? Yes, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're this is a right. four point card. This will be a two point card because of the multiplier. So that's six. So off to the trainer the gallery draw? we go with TG03. Let's see how we did for you there on the king draw. One dollar seventy one cents. So two points multiplied yeah. by two. We'll get you to four. Four. So that's. Eight, ten points out of nowhere. Out of nowhere in a truly beautiful card. Wow, yeah, I mean, look at that Kingdra. That is awesome. Really nice looking. All right, we've gone from John Borg to John Paul. Wow, look at this. The way there the names go. are all playing out. I know. It's like all the. <laughs> it's it's like, I feel like they sorted them by first name this time around. It's <laughs> almost like they're alphabetical. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, fire energy. So no multiplier here. Zisu, Gold Duck. Oh, there's a point on the okay. Pucciana, though. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, we got another full art with the weird ear. And ooh, there's something else back there, Ben. Let's it see. Looks, looks Flourish! Like the cleaver. Cleaver. Okay. okay, so let's see here. So we at least have one point here from um, Pucci Pucciana. Pucciana. I'm never good at pronouncing these things. <laughs> the, the, I need dude, like Pokemon I need, pronunciation is such a problem. I know, yeah. Okay, so uh, TG06. Yep. 97 cents. Okay, so that's a one point card that's as well. It's a one well. point card. And then Cleaver is 87. Number 87. 87 cent card, so that'll Man. round you out. Man, so it's like, those Isn't are that crazy. It's like minimal on the rounding on this one because right. they were like, they were like right on that, right that next on whole it. number. This is the difference between getting the multiplier because in that last pack, it, it wasn't even two full arts. You know, but they had the multiplier and they had the one card that was worth a little bit more. Right, yeah, that multiplier can really just come in so, so handy. It can, yep. Man, there you go. Either way, the weird ear, great looking card. And what are the odds on the energies? Like, about four packs? There's, a, there's about um, four packs, or like four of each energy in a box. Okay. Although, in the last box, we did have five darkness. So there is like a, a remainder section where that fifth one could come into play. Next up, we have Ekshav. Am I up? You're up. Okay. All right. There's your pack for you. We're like spoilers for my pack. You know, no, like I, I don't, know. Want, yeah, I don't, you want, don't anything want to know anything. Kind of like let me know what's going on. And with the turn off. Boom. Oh. Mm. Just the grass. Just the grass. I right, the sneasel. Ooh, the Ooh. Radiant Halucha. And something else is kind of uh -oh. hiding back something there. Something else so. hiding. Let's see. The Hisuian Lilligant V. All right, so we have at least three scoring cards in this pack. Right, let's see. We here. know that's one. Okay, so 81 is going to get the Halucha. Yes. Okay, let's see here. That will be 59 cents. Okay, so, so just that's just single another point. single point. I'm betting the Lilligant is just a single point as well, but worth checking. Worth checking as ever. Number 17 on our list will be 72 cents. Yep, so just another rounded up to one point. So a three-point pack. 
<coughs> for Ekshov. Ekshov, but you still get a Radiant and a Full Art in there, so very fun pack either very, way. Very fun pack and cards again headed your way. Yes. All right, who have I got here, Ben? I don't know how to say that. Zanny? Zanny! D Zanny? Zanny. I'm going with that. Seems right. Can we get another dark multiplier? That's always my favorite when we get the multiplier. Oh, no, we can't oh, because there's nothing. no energy at all. Oh, there's the V Star. The v Star. The dreaded V Star. Okay, there's the Gold Duck. That's worth nothing. Grant. Electric. Ooh, there's a point on the Nicket. The Pet Lil and. Oh, the Avalux. I'm oh. thinking that looks like a solid two point pack for Zani. Unfortunate, but pack's still coming at you. Next up is Becky Borst. Becky! There's your pack for you there. Let's see how we can do. There's a Scythe oh, right on top. You J get some J points. I feel good about this one. I know, yeah, there's always that. Yeah. Gotta, gotta be excited about the J points. And can we get the dark energy? Oh, oh no. No can do, no can do. Scyther. Ooh, Quill the Quillfish. Yeah, That'll get you, get you a point. Get you on the board. The Levion is, is a star, star so, so that'll be a double rare and, and the Arcanine. Arcanine. So that's gonna be a three point pack for Becky as well. Sorry, my good feeling did not follow through for you. That's my bad. It was too firm of a pack. Too we, firm of you a want pack. The, you want the flims. You want that flim flam pack. And our last pack goes to Allison Overcamp. Now, if I recall, if I'm looking at the leaderboard, B Grim. Still stands in front at 41 points. Absolutely remarkable. Absolutely big numbers. Now that said, there are cards in the set worth more than 41 points. Without but a multiplier without at all. Without a multiplier yeah. at all. They're hard to pull. Well, let's see if Allison can finish off with a really big bang and take the lead right at the last second. I would be astounded, but we're not, okay, no multiplier. So if it, she's gonna have to rely on nothing but raw rarity. Raw rarity. Here we go, Gardenia's Vigor. We saw the full art for it earlier. Wish cash. The Wish Cash. The Temple of Sinnoh. No extra points at all so far. The Side up is one extra point, so there's that. The Togepi, the Magnemite, the Gutsy Pickaxe, that's just a diamond card, not a star, and Oh, the oh, Mammoth Slime. There we go. Sheer anticlimactic nature. Sorry. That's a solid two points on the pack there. Yep. But there is always, there is always next time and ever, the, the ever present opportunity to, to, to get that to like, get something that, like massive. lights out pull. I mean, I, I will say that in the history on the channel, we have probably opened how many booster boxes total? Like maybe like in the in proximity the live streams, of streams, we've opened like twenty or thirty. Yeah, yeah. And and I would say that like we we have not had some of like the pulls that like can hit those big numbers yet. Yeah. Which means that like they got to be just around the corner. Right. It's, it's, it's got, there. It's like the longer we go without having like a like a one hundred point card, yeah. the more likely it is that like. It's, I know. It's around any turn. Right, and we yeah. uh, this will, this is gonna be the end of the Astral Radiance pulls for us. Next month, we're gonna bleed over into Lost Origin, and we were just looking at pull rates for Lost Origin yesterday. It is really cool that like one in three packs should have some sort of full art or trainer gallery something. That's very exciting, so yeah. That's, those are pretty good, pretty good pull rates. The, the people over at the Pokemon company right now have just got to be like feverishly hammering away at all these like, Various alt arts and yeah. you know trainer galleries and stuff like that. There's so much cool stuff to pull now compared to like the early days when we were kids in oh, the nineties buying these things for the first time. And it was like like a hollow at this point, a basic hollow would almost be like disappointing. Right. But back in the day, it was like this is the that best was, day of my life. That was like yeah. The, I have the another thing to put in my binder. Yes. <gasps> a binder card. And everyone's gonna be so jealous. We need to give a huge congratulations to B. Grimm, who ended up being our winner with a whopping 41 points uh, for the Astral Radiance collection, which means you have an entire Astral Radiance booster box headed your way. Bravo. Very impressive, amazing pulls. Um, guys, if you are watching and interested in uh, signing up to be a box breaker uh, member over on Patreon, you can do that at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and select the box breakers tier. Uh, we do have them broken into a variety of different um, types. Yep. So you can like choose a specific team that you want to live on and then also compete as a respective team if that is fun for you as well. If that is fun for you, but you are just competing individually for, as well. For the big box. Yeah. Also, we need some ideas for what 
what our last place person can get yes. and what the quality eighth place person can get. Yes, those okay. be yeah. We got to find something for those people. I know for like kind of like that. You got like the yeah. top, the middle, and, and then like, like the, yeah, the, just the, the very, very bottom. bottom. Sorry, you only got two points. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, as ever, guys, thank you so much for tuning into the series. We appreciate it so very much. Otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.